Hey guys, it's Melody and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I made a video and I've been really busy but I apologize about that. So I have a lot of exciting videos coming up. Um, this video here of course is my NYX haul. Not from the $1.20 sale because I took no parts in that. But my NYX haul from hotlook.com which is like a trunk show type website. So I got a lot of NYX products from there. Um, also stay tuned and be on the lookout for my the makeup show haul um, video and things like that. So um, um, you might so yeah, so back to my NYX haul. So Hot Look had um, a trunk sale on NYX about maybe a month ago. I'm not sure. Maybe a month ago. And so I decided that if they had their pigments on sale, that I definitely would go ahead and get them because I do like their pigments. The pigments that I do. Now, at my Ulta, they sell these Pearl Mania small NYX pigments here. This one is called Yellow Pearl. I do not like these. I do not like these and I will tell you why I don't like these. I don't like these because I don't understand how they expect somebody to be able to use these. This is how they come. This is the inside of it. Now you tell me what kind of brush you're going to stick in there to be able to get some pigment out. You're going to have to either put it on your hand, put it on a palette, and then try to get it. I, I don't like it. it. It's not for me. I, so I have like four of these because they were like, I think NYX had this like buy one get one half off or it was like buy two get one free or buy one get one free. I don't know. I got it when it was a sale. So um, yeah, these are not my favorite. However, on the Hot Look website, they had in place of, instead of the, these little pearl, what are they, ultra pearl mania ones, they had the bigger ones and these are the dramatic chrome eyeshadow pigments. Can you see these? These are the dramatic chrome eyeshadow pigments and they were selling them in bulk of 28 and you can get 28 different colors. Uh, I guess it was like one set of colors maybe like um, I really don't know. It was just 28 different colors and on the other one there was another set of 28 different colors so they were all different colors like they were not the same colors mixed in with each um, bulk so I decided to get both I don't remember how much they were but let me tell you I actually got them in my car and I was able to check out so it was a lot better than that dollar twenty sale that NYX was trying to push so anyway so I have 58 56 sorry 56 of these things and I mean I can't hold them all up I will snap a picture and have a picture showing you all of these but they are Different types of uh, NYX shadows. This one's called Sunny Day. This one's called Mink. And this one's called Hardcore. Whatever. Hardcore. You see it. So, let me tell you what I don't like about these. Now, I already showed you that these little things, you can't even get it out. It's pointless. What? So, this right here is a lot better. It kind of reminds me of a MAC pigment. Um, except for, you know, MAC kind of slimline their jars and are still charging the same price and um this so this time around me of the old school MAC pigments which were a lot fatter um whatever um so this is how they come and they have this protective piece on top so that the pigments do not fall out that would have been horrible if my pigment had to fall out but the pigments do not fall out and so you have to see this little tab here it has a little We'll tap it. And you you guys probably know all about this and I'm, I'm just being like really, I'm sorry if I'm being redundant or if I'm insulting your intelligence, but I just have to tell you guys like what I don't like. So it has this little tab here. Right here I pulled it up, that little tab, you see it? See that right there? And so you have to, I'm going to have to pull back. You have to pull this up in order to get to your pigment. And this is your pigment here. And this one's called Sunny Day. So this is your pigment here. And I didn't mind that except for some of these are like stuck in there and like they they're really hard to get out and then when you pull it out you get pigment falling everywhere because you're pulling it out with such force or you're like bending the plastic so that when it goes back in it's hard to push back in <sighs> NYX I like you guys but you guys have just got to do a little bit just just a little bit just a little bit better I mean and it's all cosmetic issues if you just change the shape of this bottle set so that we can even get to the pigment or if you change these so that we can easily look easily oh wait I pushed it back in so we can easily 
peel it off and not get pigment all over the place. It would it would be amazing. So, anyways, let me show you guys. So here here it is. Um, let me go show you guys how pigment they are. I'm just gonna take it from the top because I don't feel like sticking my hand in there, and it's unsanitary to do so. So I'm just gonna take it from the top and put it on the back of my hand so you guys can see. And there it goes. There it goes. So you guys can see. And you can do these wet or do them dry. I've tried them both ways and they are marvelous. I actually have some on my eyes right now that I use for this look. Um, but I really, really like them. Really like them. So my complaint was what I just told you. My only complaint about them. Um, oh, one more thing. So uh, let's see if I can find it. What color is silver? Um, now, I, I know all about companies name stuff different colors and things like that, but for real guys, what color is silver? Silver is silver, right? Like, silver is like, silver is this color right here, right? Like, like it's like, well, this, this is white. This is white gold. But it's like this, right? You would confuse that with silver if you didn't know any better. But let me show you guys what NYX silver is. And when I was, when I was looking through these and I saw this and I, and I, and I, question and I was like what what this isn't silver they they jipped me like this is like bootleg this is like by me buying pigments off of back pigments off of eBay like they're fake whatever right this is what I thought so hold on I tell you how like I have like 56 of these things so I'm, I'm like picking them up at random and like uh, okay here we go here we go here we go so I'm gonna stick these in my hand like this do any of these colors look like they are silver to you let me see if I can turn my hand around this way any of these look like they're silver to you besides this one and actually this one's not silver if you get a closer look you can see it's not silver actually the name of this one is called herb it's a green color but let me show you which one is silver and this is why I thought that they were doing some Foolish, and they were getting a little bit messy. But this is what NYX considers to be silver. Now I don't know if you guys can tell from here. Let me show you on the bottom. Let y'all know I, I'm not. I'm not lying. What does it say? What What is that? Silver. Mm hmm So I went online and I was like, let me just make sure that their silver online is not silver and hot looking. Just try to make me look a hot mess. So, but lo and behold, their silver online was this color silver here. And so let me show you what it looks like inside. As you can see, it is not silver. Mm, I learned in kindergarten what silver looks like, and that's definitely not silver. It is a purplish lilac type of color. And um, if I swatch some on my hand, that's the color it comes out to. Definitely, definitely not silver. But, I mean... It was that one. It was the one called Sunny Sunny Day. Sunny Day, yellow, right? You, it's pink. I don't know. Whatever. They're, they're still good pigments, so we'll let them go, right? So anyway, so I already told you what I don't like about the in my ex pigments is that you have to dramatic. I'm sorry, dramatic chromatic eyeshadow pigments is that you have to take that little plastic piece off in order to get to them, and then uh, pigments get everywhere. There's pigments right now, all over the place. But let me show you. So. I, I googled and I searched because a lot of people press their pigments like you can press MAC pigments um, I, you might be able to press some other pigments I just I know that you can definitely for sure press MAC pigments and so I was like oh wow well, just gonna get all these pigments and I'm gonna press them go about my day right have them in my little palettes no problem well you cannot press NYX pigments they don't have a binding agent um, needed in order for them to hold like the MAC pigments already have the binding agent in it so when you mix them with alcohol it holds you do that with the NYX pigments they will form into like a solid but come back three hours later mm -mm, them puppies gonna be falling apart and you have would have wasted your pigments and made a huge mess and so what I decided to do was come up with a way where I could store my pigments and not have to worry about them, one, um, taking up unnecessary amounts of room in my uh, makeup kit. And two, um, be able to have easy access to them so that I'm not pulling up the little plastic piece. And so I searched, I searched, I searched. I went to a couple of different Michaels because I, I know they make these things. I know they did. People tried to tell me they didn't. No, nah, I'm not stupid, guys. I know they make these things. And so 
this is what I found. I found a case in the beading section of Michaels that has small little, small little things like this, a little bit smaller with screw tops on top of them. And they come in a case like this. So this is the one that I found. This is, can you guys see what's that say clear? So this is it. This is what I found. There are 30 of these little rows. There are 30 of these small little um, jars and they're all screw tops. Look how small this is. Look how compact this is. You can just stick this in the bottom of your palette. You can take this on a plane with you. TSA ain't gonna stop you. You can take this on a plane with you as long as you don't have liquids or gels in here, guys. They will stop you if you have liquids or gels in here. They're not gonna stop you if you have pigments in here, though. So friendly. So let me show you. Top comes off. It was supposed to come off. Top comes off. Bam. This is what you have right here. Bam. Oh, look. they're not falling out. Isn't isn't that amazing? So, mm, so now you have the opportunity, instead of having to look at a black cap, if you have it sitting in a box somewhere and having to pick it up and look at the side to see what color it is, or having to turn it this way and instead of silver, you pick it up, it's purple, you can actually, you can actually just look at the top and see what color you want. That's all you have to do. So what I did was I just took some labels. Let me get one of these out for you. But anyway, so... This thing is like haunting me. So I just took one out at random. This is how small they are, guys. This is how small they are. Let me show you in comparison to another NYX. Um, this is this is how small they are in comparison. You see that they are a lot smaller. So what I did was, and let me let me show you. Hold on, before I tell you what I did, you screw screw the cap off, screw the cap off, and look, voila. You have access to your pigments. You are not pulling up a piece of plastic to get to it. Pigments are not falling everywhere. You are not trying to get into the small, like, little tiny hole where... What is going to fit in there? How are you going to get the pigments out? So, this is what I did. And I bought two of these cases. Because, like I said, I have 56, um... I bought 56 of the pigments. And then I have some... I have, like, four of these little, little, these little things here. Um... And then what I did was I went to the NYX site, because I didn't know the names of all these, and I wasn't going to sit here and turn each one over. So I went to the NYX site, and I just, so I just hiked them up on the label, on the little labels, and I just put them on there. This one is sunny day. It's pink. I know. But it's a sunny day. And so now I have access to all my pigments. This is what I can do. If I want to pick up another one, oh, this one's chaotic. Look. This one's chaotic. Blue. I can just look here and say, oh, I want a blue pig. Bam. This one's two wise men. Wasn't there three wise men? Anyway, two wise men. Bam. Bam. Easy. Simple. Bam. That's all you got to do. All you have to do. Now, like I said, I bought two of these. So I got these at Michael's. Got these at Michael's. Got these at Michael's. Got these at Michael's for $8.99. Um, you really have to look in the beta section because they weren't like bam in plain sight. Um, they were, but they were there. So I got these from Michaels. They were, I'm sorry, I lied. I told you these were $8.99. These were $9.99. These were $9.99. And Michaels is doing this thing now where if you have a 40% off coupon, you can, um, Michaels is doing this thing now where if you have a 40% off coupon, you don't have to physically have that coupon. We all have smartphones. All you have to do is pull up the, the coupon on your smartphone, show it to them, they'll scan it on your phone, and you get the 40% off. Because when I saw that, I had no coupon walking in there. And so I was like, well, so I just Googled. I Googled Michael's coup store coupons, and a 40% off coupon came up. So I bought two of these. I will be going back to get one more to store my MAC pigments in, um, just to make it easier on me. Um... Yeah, that was my rant on that. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me, and thank you for watching. Deuces.